So I have this Sima X8W and notice my range is terrible. I took my remote and I took our, I already took all the screws out. So let me flip it over for you. I thought I thought this little bump on the top where this clamp to hold your screen is mounted. I thought that was the antenna. It's actually not. It's just a post to hold that clamp. So let me show you inside. I took the screws out. There we go. Open this up. Those wires are the to the batteries that are on the back. But right there, if you look at that little board, those two little wires, that's it. That's your antenna. Those are about an inch long and terrible, terrible range. So went back onto eBay and found these two guys. It's a uh, little socket, the wire jumper. They were $3.99 with $2.99 shipping, so about $7 for those came to as, as a pair. And for $3, I got a pair of these antennas off of eBay. And uh, these screw onto those sockets. I'm going to drill a hole, put it about there, and then we'll see if uh, that'll give me some more range. But that's going to sit on there like that. So uh, let me put that in and see how it does. Okay, so on this uh, connector, I need to cut that off. So let's... Snip that off, see if I can uh, strip it back. Okay, separate the two. There's a center conductor and the outer uh, braid. Okay, so I cut the end of that and uh, as you can see I separated the two conductors. And that I'm going to solder onto those two terminals there, eliminating these short little wires, soldering to that point and that point. I'm going to drill a hole in the back of this housing and uh, make this stick out there so I can screw on the antenna. There is my original antenna which I removed and I'll give you this battery as a comparison. Um, it's about an inch long, two little wires, that was it for the antenna. There's my aftermarket socket for my big antenna. And that's where I just soldered it to those two points where those antennas came off of. Yeah, so uh, now I just gotta drill a hole in the other half of the remote and uh, put the socket through and screw on the new antenna. So I made my uh, hole in the back here and um, here's my socket for the antenna. So I just gotta push this through. This washer. Another split lock washer. And then the nut. Make sure I don't pull out the other end which I soldered on there. They're really thin wires. So I'm gonna have to hold this end and tighten this. Be careful not to break it. Okay, tighten the socket, protrudes out the back of the remote. I just got to be careful the antenna, I don't pull my solder joints loose. And when I put this together, that the wire is tucked inside. Oh, a button did fall out, I got to make sure I keep all my buttons in. Let's put this back in here. I think it went this, no, it goes this way. That sits right there. Okay. Turn the wires in there. Okay, screwed the remote all back together. There's my new jack for the new antenna. All that's left is to screw on the antenna. And it's got a little angle part. I like it up. I guess it doesn't matter, but uh, that's it. There you have it. My new improved uh, antenna. Should give me more range.
Okay, we're out here to do a range test with the new antenna on the remote. But I just wanted to show you my homemade uh, GoPro mount. I'm going to place that underneath here. I'll let you see how this attaches on here. Just kind of stretch it over. Kind of hangs there, but what I like to do is pull it up and shove it in there. This leg broke when I ran into a telephone pole. Spent $250 online and got a new set coming. Works okay. No gimbal, but also no big price tag. Okay, let's do this range check. backwards. Get back over here. Come down a little bit. Oh, and I got a flashing low battery. If you can see that. That in case my battery's low. Still hovering, even though my battery's indicating it's uh, low. Okay, so I'd have to say uh, definitely more range, not as much as I was expecting, but uh, I would say at least one and a half times what it was, possibly twice. Possibly twice as strong, twice the distance. So what I think I'll do is also I uh, have another one of these. I'm going to do the same thing on the uh, quadcopter itself. A um, little bit shorter antenna though. Um, and I think I'll put it down sticking down from the bottom because it's always going to be above me. No reason to have it up on top.